Early this year, students at Millard North have started playing Wordle. It's a short word game and is only becoming more popular with the help of social media. I saw it on TikTok and then I did it and then it got bought by the New York Times. And you can like obviously talk about on social media, you always see the tweets with like the little emojis and I think that kind of just like got people curious. The main appeal of the game is the challenge and the fact that it's quick with only one puzzle a day to keep attention. I don't know a lot of the words, but somehow I still get them. I just make up words and then they're right. Um, I got it in two tries once, or maybe twice. Usually when we have a little bit of free time, I just kind of do it on my phone so it's easy. Or if I'm at like home on the weekends, I usually like just do it in bed before I go to sleep or when I wake up. Um, today I got the word in two, but usually I get it in like four or five. Many players do agree that the game has gotten harder since the New York Times purchased it in late January. Players do still enjoy the game though, and many continue to play it daily. Yeah, I think the words are definitely getting harder since it got bought. They're like some of the words I've never even heard of. I just think that's how the game works, is it's been going on for 200 days, so you think as time goes on it gets harder. But at the same time, there's words in there that are like super easy to guess. And so I kind of think it's just like you kind of throw hard ones in every once in a while to spice things up a little bit. With more people discovering Wordle every day, the game will remain popular for a very long time. This has been Lila Bribiesca for the Miller North Blue View.